Hey guys, Kigiru here for the Tech World, and today I have another video on showing you some alternatives to your basic home page. So your browser, most of your browsers obviously have a home page, whether it's Google, your website, maybe YouTube, Twitter, whatever it may be. Um, I'm going to show you some alternatives, some new uh, pages you can get. I know a lot of people, some people don't like home page, uh, home pages just because it takes for, sometimes, you know, it'll take forever to load the home page for some people, and they want their browsing experience faster. Um, you know, that's always cool. I mean, I personally have my, uh, page when I open a new tab in Firefox set to about colon blank which is basically a blank page that way my tabs open quick and I can get to what I need to get to um, now of course you know if you're used to the whole Chrome thing where it'll open kind of like a blank page but I'll show you your most used uh, websites you can you, you can get an add-on like that too I believe uh, I don't know the name of the add-on but I believe there is one ported to Firefox so I can uh, get that link it's like uh, your top five favorite pages pretty much you visit the most uh, I'll, I'll leave a link to the add-on in the video description to the right. Uh, though you can have like a home page where, like, basically instead of going out to all your all those sites you visit, you know, Twitter, Lifehacker, Gmail, you can kind of have all your content integrated in one. You don't necessarily have to have that page as your you know page when you open a new tab, but you know you can just click that home button and it'll take you to that page when you kind of want to get caught up on all your feeds and everything like that. Uh, you know, it doesn't not just necessarily Google Reader type feeds, but you know your email. Uh, your calendar, all that stuff in one page. And iGoogle is one that's been there for a long time. I've mentioned this before. It's been one of the best out there because, you know, it's integrated in Google, so it has a big name. And it's already in, it's synced up with your Gmail account. So you can add different widgets like Google Calendar, uh, you know, uh, your own blog like I had in my here, the How To Geek blog, you know, other people's blogs, uh, your Google Reader news feed right here. So, you know, you can go through all your uh, podcasts, tech news, world news, miscellaneous. Uh, you can have RSS feeds of other people's podcasts like I have here, uh, daily blogs that you read, again, your Gmail account, calendar, weather, popular stories from Dig, Macworld stories, and then you can set over here some other pages for other stuff you're interested in. For example, I'm going to click technology and computing, and it should open up my technology and computing feeds and widgets and stuff like that. And then here's just a whole bunch of widgets of different RSS feeds I'm subscribed to. You know, Gizmos, uh, Freeware, Apple Insider, PC Mag, all that stuff. And, you know, you can have a whole bunch of other tabs like World News, Contacts, a whole bunch of miscellaneous widgets you want to add on your homepage. This is a really cool way to get, uh, you know, everything all in one place. So uh, that's what most ho most of these homepage services I'm going to be showing you today. they based off of widgets, but they all have their own type of, uh, you know, uh, specific features that are, uh, you know, uh, I guess unique to their service. For example, iGoogle. It's built in with your, you know, it's it's a Google, it's synced in with your Google account, so you don't really have to go, you know, you can have your Google search at the top, you don't have to, like, you know, you don't have to go to another site, for example, the next service I'm going to show you, that's also one I've been trying, because I've been trying a whole bunch of different services, Zulu, Zulu.com, this one gives you a similar page to iGoogle with a little bit of faster interface, uh, and, you know, it gives you more options and other, you know, widgets you can add in. And it even gives you this little bar down here, though. So this is what they what they offer. They offer a music player, you know, with AOL radio and stuff like that. You can use a privacy manager, see your friends online, new messages and in inbox, uh, some other, you know, social networking type features, favorites. And you can also, it, they, when you sign up, they also give you a, uh, uh, a blog. So basically this is all in one service. So it says your name, your domain, your life. So all your web, you know, this is pretty much your web, uh, your web life is all on here. You know, you can have all your feeds and stuff you read. You can have your blog if you want to make it off of using their uh, Zulu service because they also host your site. And they have a whole bunch of other stuff. So you see here my website. You can view your website, edit it, do a whole bunch of other stuff. So this one's also another all-in-one manager, but trying to get all your, you know, all your, uh, I guess, your uh, website, your feeds, all of that in one service so you, you don't have to go around, you know, to multiple services. Now the next one I'm going to talk about is one I've been using just because of its pure speed in the interface. Uh, it's again very similar to three pane layout to uh, iGoogle, but it doesn't have that side tab that iGoogle offers. You know, for multiple pages, it offers these little tabs up here at the top, which can be easily switched around. And you know, you can have ones for games, you can have your internet stuff, and your general tab, which would feature everything you want to see at a glimpse. So uh, I have you know multiple stuff here: some blogs, again, some feeds, the weather, and my Facebook. So some stuff like that, and you can also have your search engine stuff up here. You can add multiple pages, but uh, again, this one's speed compared to iGoogle for me, it's been really, you know, just a little bit more faster and snappier to me because it's not as bogged down as all those iGoogle widgets. 
uh, I can have the same amount of widgets here on NetVibes, and I can get a you know pretty general fast experience. Another cool feature they offer is you can make a public page. So this page right here is private. I can only see this when I log into NetVibes. It gives me my net summary pretty much, but I can make a public page where maybe people can see what the weather is like. They can only see a certain amount of widgets. Like maybe I don't want them to see my Facebook. I don't want them to see my friend feed. I only want them to see, you know, uh, for example, I may only want them to see blog posts from my blog, uh, maybe some life hacker posts, my weather, and a couple other stuff like my online status if I'm on Skype. You can have specific widgets for a public page, and then uh, you can, you know, uh, you know, say, you know, I only want them to see this. You can give permissions. So. Uh, permissions is a really really great feature along with the you know speed and net vibe so this is again another alternative and again you know they all have their own specific features so it's up to you on which one you want to choose but the next one I uh, stumble upon is called page flakes uh, I know a couple people use this this is also just an alternative if you really don't like the iGoogle interface and you just want your things a little bit bigger only problem I found with this is really slow and as you see here I've had this open for at least 10 minutes I haven't refreshed it had some loading errors so I mean it is an alternative if it works for you yeah, you get a little bit more bigger uh, viewing area for your feeds and stuff like that. So if you're into that, now a uh, kind of twist off. This one's called 43marks.com. This one pretty much takes all your bookmarks that you would use. So like, you know, all the sites you would daily visit. Like I have up here. If I kind of scroll up with my recorder here, I have all my uh, bookmarks icons right here. But uh, what 43marks is trying to do is they put them all in their own categories, and you can categorize them once you make an account. And add your own, you know, sites you like. So, for example, travel, they have hotwire.com. Shopping, they have Amazon and eBay. You can just simply click it and it'll take you to eBay. It'll take you to Amazon. It kind of just gives you one home page for all your sites. That way you don't have to, you know, keep on typing it in. You can kind of check them all from this home page. And you can even add RSS feeds down below. So you can read all your news. And then you can go off and check your websites that you need to check it out. And it has a lot of custom ability and even offers multiple search engine, which is another cool feature. So you can do Google search. Yahoo search, Wikipedia search, Bing search, all that cool stuff. Now another really, really cool alternative to a home page is if you use the uh, Firefox add-on called Read It Later, and they also even have an iPhone app for this. So let's say you're reading an article and you know you gotta go go off to school or you know you get interrupted by a call, you wanna read that later on, or you know, you just may not have time to finish the whole article. Or you know, you just you know, it's something you really read as a good piece, has a lot of, you know, great links and stuff like that. So you may want to keep it for later. So you just hit the little check mark as I you can get installed a Firefox add on like what I did. In that top right you'll see that little check mark right there. You just check it and it checks a page for read it later and it'll put it into your reading list. So I saw this guide right here for podcasting that I really liked and I put it here. Now I can check it if I want it off my list. Let's say I already read it. For example, this is a video I want to show that some guy made about me and it was I thought it was really cool and I want to send the link out to everybody. So I already watched I finished watching the video, so I'm gonna say, you know, I read that. I can check it off my list and it's gonna go off to my red list. So um, it's really, really cool. You can also view it, and you have multiple pages and stuff like that. So I have about three pages of stuff to read or stuff I want to keep. Um, so this is a really, really cool alternative because you can just go to this as your homepage and read all those blog posts that you, you know, haven't finished or those posts that really interest you. So it's a really, really, you know, one-stop shop for all your, you know, things that you really need, you know, to get catch up, catch up on. So uh, these are my alternatives. I mean, you can obviously you can just have your own Google homepage, whatever. You can pick any one of these services. I mean, it's up to you what really what features stick out to you. Whether you want speed or you just want you know one place like iGoogle where all your content is pretty much held and you know uh, it has the Google name. And you know they all have their own interface changes that you can do. You can change the themes. You can change the way it looks, all the colors, all that fancy stuff. Anyways, guys, uh, yeah, hope you're interested and, uh, or, you know, hope you enjoyed the video as well. Don't forget to check out the links in the video description to the right. I'll leave a whole bunch of links to, you know, different alternatives you can try out. And uh, feel free to leave comments below on your favorite service, whether it's iGoogle, NetVibes, maybe use Twitter as your homepage. Uh, be interested to see. So, guys, thanks for watching. Com don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and check out our website at adrianstech.com.